morning everyone welcome to the morning devotion praying through the psalms my friends today we are praying psalm 133 this is a very short psalm with three verses but beautiful psalm indeed personally i love this psalm so much as it contains a beautiful theme today and this is titled as a song of ascents ascents means steps hence this is a song of a pilgrim or pilgrims who took their steps or who journeyed toward God's temple in Jerusalem. Beautiful. And this is attributed to King David as the author. King David envisioned God's blessings on all the people of Israel, provided they lived together, but not divided. David wanted his people to be together, to live together all the time. Beautiful. We begin the psalm now. First verse. How good and how pleasant it is when brothers dwell together as one. Beautiful. My friends, here the term brothers would mean the whole community of Israel. All people of Israel, both male and female, the whole community. Therefore, David wants the whole community to dwell together as one, not divided. He wants them to be as one community. And that's what God calls them for. God wants them to live together. So, therefore, he says, how good and how pleasant it is to be together. Beautiful. Verse 2. Like fine oil on the head, running down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron, upon the collar of his robe. Beautiful words indeed. When God chose Aaron to be his priest, Moses, his brother, anointed his brother Aaron by pouring the oil on his head, and the oil ran down his beard and on the collar of his robe, which means God is blessing Aaron abundantly. There is so much of blessing on Aaron, on his priesthood. The same way, if people lived together, God would bless them abundantly. God's blessings would be like overflowing on the people of Israel. Beautiful indeed. Last verse, verse 3. Like dew of Hermon coming down upon the mountains of Zion. Beautiful words. The city of Jerusalem was built on a mountain called Zion. And there are other mountains around Mount Zion. And all these mountains are dry except the Mount of Hermon. There is so much of dew and snow on the Mount Hermon. Therefore, there is so much of life on this wonderful Mount Hermon. Now, the psalmist David tells his people that if they live together, if they live as one community, they will be like Mount Hermon. There will be so much of life. There will be so much of God's blessings if they live together. Beautiful. The last part. There the Lord has decreed a blessing. So the Lord is ready to bless his people, bless all of us if we live together. Life forevermore. There will be life forevermore. There will be life all the time. What a beautiful psalm, my friends. So here, David advocates, David urges his people to be together, to, to, to live as one community, not divided. Most likely, David might have composed this psalm when he was elected and anointed as the king of all the tribes of Israel. He wanted all the tribes of Israel to live in peace and harmony. Beautiful psalm. We now pray Psalm 133. How good and how pleasant it is when brothers dwell together as one like fine oil on the head, running down upon the beard, upon the beard of Aaron, upon the collar of his robe, like dew of Hermon coming down, upon the mountains of Zion, There the Lord has decreed a blessing, life forevermore.
Let us pray. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We adore you and we bow down before you. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this life. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this wonderful day. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this good health that you give us. Thank you, Lord, for all your blessings of our families, friends, and other people. In a very special way, O oh Lord, we thank you for this beautiful get-together. We are able to pray. We are able to ask of your blessings this way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this wonderful communion. As we pray Psalm 133, help us to live in unity. Bless us with unity in our families in our communities, in our churches, in our, in our nation. Thank you, Lord, for the wonderful message that you give us through the psalmist David that you would bless us when we live together. Help us to care for one another, O oh Lord. Help us to love each other. May we take care of those people who are in need of food, shelter, clothing and other needs. Bless us with generosity. Bless us with kind heart, O oh Lord. Bless us today that we can be generous, kind hearted, and loving, forgiving as well. Use us for your glory. Bless all your people, O oh Lord, who watch this program. Bless the sick people in our communities, in our families. Bless those people who are away from you, O oh Lord. Bring them back once again to taste your love, O oh Lord. Keep us all the time closer to you. May we be nourished by you, by your word every single day. Keep us away from Satan, from the devil, O oh Lord. Cleanse us. Increase our faith in you. Keep us holy today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My friends, the Lord calls us to live in unity so that we can care for one another. Let us listen to him and care for one another. God bless us. Thanks for watching our program, Praying Through the Psalms. Kindly stay tuned to JCK Creations to watch our program both on Facebook page and YouTube channel. You may also spread your word about this program with your friends and other people. They could be part of this and benefit as well. Thank you again. See you next with the Psalm 134. Until then, stay blessed. Thank you.